All right. Thank you so much. <clears throat> wow. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. So I want to do a quick little exercise this morning before I start with everything else, which is rotating the body. Um, it helps sometimes when you study something from one angle or you have a reference from one angle to start rotating it in your head or find reference of the body itself rotating. So you can understand it from more than more than so you're not you're like a slave to the picture right now i usually do this even when i don't have references for rotating the body or it's a good exercise for me to study the form to see if i fully understood something i can rotate it so um the simplest way to uh, to kind of get an idea of what we're what we're doing is to do a side shot now i usually start with an egg like this and then a pelvis shape and then build the body from there. So, um, so I want to, I want to do this. I have reference for this character. Pushing, and I'm gonna try to exaggerate it because I want to give an exaggerated notion of something getting pushed. Right now, this is not exaggerated enough for me. So, uh, even the drawing is not exaggerated enough. So I'm gonna. I want to start trying my best to push the drawing. Um, so the head, the neck would come out here. So now there's a lot of hair on this reference. So you're not really seeing full anatomy of what the neck is doing but you need to kind of know this stuff i'm gonna put the hair here all right so So we've got hand here and then the other hand is coming from behind and doing the same thing, pushing outward like that. So I'm gonna darken this just to push it back. And now I wanna go full full swoop. To kind of just sell that idea we're pushing, right? So I usually slide from one side of the body to another so sliding here and then sliding there see that kind of gives me where i want to end and this side is curved so i kind of s straighten this side a little bit for the sake of design and come here maybe this side is curved so i straighten this a little bit And that she's, she's a little off her feet. She's not fully planted, which I usually hate drawing planted feet. I like the heel to be up a little bit. Now, we need to plant her somewhere, though. So, oh my God, I can't even hold my pencil. All right, so that's kind of that's kind of what we're working with. So let's let's rotate a little bit. Let's see here. This is it's going to be a little tricky because we need a side plane, right? I need to bring the body that way and that leg kind of goes back so you can see how curve here curve up here 
and then this hand the other hand might be stretched further out and don't be don't be worried about like look forget this pose like look just forget it we're practicing here like don't be too precious with your paper and your drawings we're trying to study something this is not a finished illustration Keep breaking these. Put it back in its place. Loud noises, warning. All right. Um, Get the hair all flowing. All right, so that's angle number two. Let's try to um, let's try to do it. Let's put the camera back here, looking this way. So it would be the back. The hair. I've grown so fond of drawing characters from the back where you really don't see an action and you uh, the face and you're imagining the face in action. I think personally that's what made a lot of Frazetta uh, paintings cool is that a lot of times you just see the characters back and hair. And you're not seeing their face. They're really the character is facing the trouble, and you're behind the character as if you're, if he was kind of defending you from the trouble itself, or, or you kind of like in the back watching it all happen. So you're getting looser now, which is cool. Round the form. Coming in. This is extremely foreshortened, so we don't have to go too far away. It looks weird just now here without the other one. So I'm gonna need more space here, so I'm gonna even destroy that first one even more. So we got, gotta remind myself to round this form. Come in here.
this kind of goes in the distance. Um, see what we're doing though? Um, let's find. Let's do this one, but slightly to the left. So right here, we did not see any th three dimensions. We were just looking at it this way, right? Now let's see the other side a little bit. See how we did that? Quick review. Right, so let's see let's see how it would look like if this is gonna be a little tricky but let's let's put a side to that body let's not completely and you could start it off as if you're doing it the way we did it like the way I just broke it down Because at a certain point it's kind of the same but then we're introducing a slight little twist to the to the thing um, so instead of completely breaking it off we're showing this plane and this plane And now I'm making the hands a lot longer because I want to kind of exaggerate that push. So now the pelvis is going to come out from the side here. Usually, you know, when we were completely side sideways, it, we we drew it on the edge of the form. Now we're going to see how this leg comes into the picture. And I'm I'm putting this core shadow here to kind of show you where where we turned the form we were completely on the side light when we were drawing it from the side we were seeing it from the side that was lit right here instead of seeing that shadowed side so it's cool sometimes to have the both both sides because it's dynamic, it's more dynamic. And again, the face that I'm just not gonna bother with right now. But you see the difference between this and this, that was completely sideways. Now, let's push it even further and see where it goes. Um, let's kind of rotate even more. And I'm going to be very constructive here and showing you kind of how I'm thinking while I'm drawing. I 
got the pelvis here, so. See, this is where the pelvis ends of the pad, you know, the. What am I talking about, pelvis? The rib cage. It's too early and I'm I haven't slept well. So this thigh this time around is coming towards us right here. It's not going sideways like this because we're looking at it from the front now. So this would, and this muscle here would come out cutting in like that. So you see what I'm talking about? It's really helpful to know the shapes of these things. And like the knee would, come here so we would I'm gonna darken this because like it's a plane that's like imagine it like this and that's one cylinder coming here there's a knee that's the ball and then that's another cylinder coming down and if the light is coming from the top then this part is going to be in shadow. And it's not completely in shadow like that, but I'm emphasizing it and darkening it because um, I had a teacher once tell me, like, don't draw it, communicate it. And that's what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm trying to communicate to it, to an audience that, like, is not gonna look at this and using their words to kind of I always pretend that I'm drawing to somebody who doesn't speak or does not have language just is able to see so I can just restrict myself to only visual communication and yeah 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 the face is gonna be here somewhere or whatever with a bunch of hair Flowing down, coming down, whatever. It's not what we're concerned about today. Um, all right. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this was fun. Um, kind of tempted to do just one more from like completely the backside, which we can do real quickly right now. Again, so I think the hair would come down like this. This is one shoulder blade. This is the other shoulder blade. We would not see a lot of the arm because it's foreshadowed. So we'd probably just see one hand here. Would see one hand there. Um, this is the spine. And I'm going to darken the hair right there. So darken the hands because like they're pushing them forward. What's interesting is what's happening maybe because one, one leg is going forward so we have to kind of and then like we have to know how to pinch and squeeze these muscles. So because this is coming towards us it would, it would look like this. Um, and then the calf muscle would come down like that. And you get a heel. A little elevated and then the rest is a foot. And then this foot, 
that's going to be tricky. Um, this foot is probably like, you're going to see the calf coming down like that. And then, I don't know if I did that right or wrong, but it looks funky a bit to me. But I think it sells the idea a little bit. Yeah, rotate the body. And try to, you know, try to flip and rotate and, and uh, maybe put the hands a little higher next time and uh, make the head look up. You know, like if we did, if we did the hands going up this way and the head is looking up that way and now, and now our body's stretched even more. See, and now we're planting. See how that kind of gives another vibe from this? It's always when I'm about to end a video that I get looser with my hands and um, the drawings start to get looser and better. Maybe I should warm up before actually starting the video. I don't know. But then the pressure is off and the stuff I warm up with look better than the stuff I recorded and all that mess. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, can't be thankful for all the support and all the comments. Um, and uh, if you're interested in seeing more, please check out my social media stuff. Uh, they're in the description below. And I'll see you next time, yeah? Thank you.